Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a brand new reaction of Mr. Robot. Today we got season 2 episode 9. Now before we get started make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I'd really really appreciate that. And check out some other videos. So last time out we had uh, no Elliot in the episode. So I guess we're going back to Elliot now. Who was in prison this entire season. Not He didn't just get to prison in the last episode. He, he was in prison this entire time. That's, that's the twist here. Uh, I seem to have slightly misunderstood the, the twist, just slightly, but a few of you corrected me in, in the comments. Uh, I really appreciate that. Yeah, let's just go ahead and jump in. I guess, what was the reason that Elliot ended up in prison? You think he put himself there? Tyrell put him in there? Man, it just makes sense, you know? Somebody in the comments let me know. They broke it down for me. They were like, hey, like, back in the day when this season was out, people had theories on the Reddit. And one of the theories was that he was in prison because of his regiment. Which is, yeah, it makes sense now. He's at the courtyard, you know, playing basketball. Or he's not playing basketball. He's just watch people play basketball. He's attending, like, group meetings. Every single time he takes a phone call, it's in the same spot. Um, his mom. I, I've, I, have, I have always found it weird that his mom never really said anything when he was in, you know, in her house when he was there. So it all makes sense now. Go ahead and jump in and see why Elliot was in prison because you elliot alderson are you elliot alderson wait this is the end of season one right computer trespass and grand larceny grab the computers get the hard drives all the usb drives. that's why he's under arrest for what reason what happened i've spoken with the prosecutor and we can get the hacking charges reduced uh, theft charge is a little more difficult uh, plaintiff is really upset about the dog but i think oh it's his it's his therapist's ex that turned him in <laughs> In the case of People versus Alderson, how does the defendant plead? He's on, like, Zoom. Guilty. Uh, well, off script. You will be sentenced to jail. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> yes, yeah, send us to jail. Send both of us to jail. Do you make this plea out of free will and free mind? No, no, he's fucking crazy. <laughs> That's fun. In your fourth degree, I hereby sentence you to 18 months in county jail. 18 months, okay. It's not the craziest. You know, I, I thought I thought it was gonna be years. Don't move. Yes. Chin on the bullseye. After after the prison twist, I was thinking, how does the Ray thing work? Ray must have been like a warden or something in this prison that had you know, that had stuff going on. I need you to swing by at 3 p.m. Or he's like a counselor still. Problems with RT again. Yes, sir, Warden. Up, uh, Warden. Let's go. Get undressed. Hurry up. All right, let's go. Get undressed. Show your peeper. Convicted within 24 hours. Yeah, we heard about you, cuz. <laughs> You're the only guilty man in the entire pain. You know that. It's like Shawshank Redemption when they're like, uh, everybody serious, non guilty. Mornings and child. Afternoons, we hit the ball court. Evenings, that's when I get my TV time. I like to binge personally. I like to binge too. I like to binge too. Nice. I like the fact that Leon just took him under his wing. He also knows the White Rose. So this could be a mission. I think I'm going to start watching Seinfeld next. I heard his name. <laughs> and then he starts talking to him about Seinfeld. Stay away from these Dave Duke motherfuckers right here, man. So Leon is probably going to get in huge, huge trouble at the jail because he stabbed those guys for assaulting, for trying to assault Elliot. See you in the morning. <laughs> and the illusion is forming. That's how it happened. That's all you missed. That's everything. Thanks for catching me up, dude. I appreciate it. You never released this many nonviolent offenders before. This mess with the economy is affecting the prison budgets, too. I just realized they're releasing the guy who's like responsible for the biggest hack. They had him, and now they're just releasing him back out. And at five, return to normal. Is it possible to return after 86 days in a six by nine foot box? 86 days? He didn't even serve three full months. Elliot being free? That means Mr. Robot's now free. I know that guy's excited. I know those simple fries must taste delicious right now to him. Mm. 
she explained to him what he missed. Oh, this is the backup plan, the rubber duck. Plug it in, ignore the phone call, dude. Just plug that shit in. Look at her! Leveling up in the world. Do you know how valuable that info is? Is she gonna give it to her lawyers? She's four gigabytes worth of data. They filed a missing persons report. Between them missing in the channel archive, I'm freaking out. Well, we know Mobley's alive. Mobley got in, you know, got an interrogation with the FBI. They're probably just hiding somewhere. This wasn't part of the deal. I love how sometimes they just make regular people look sus as hell. It's like, are they watching them or are they not watching them? I just be quick. I'll wait in the stairwell. Mom? You think? Is he seeing their mom? A lot's happened since last I saw you. I had a really hard time. Just wanted to say thank you. You helped me survive these last couple of months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like his dad helped him when he was getting beat up. I find the show very interesting for not making the mom be like the main person in, in their family. You know what I mean? Like usually shows and movies make the mom the central figure and the dad is kind of like whatever. But this show is like the dad is the central figure here. They coordinated the plane crash. <laughs> oh, price. You both gotta calm down. <laughs> no, no, trust. They're they're not hearing him. It's just you. Okay, okay. Let's all take a beat. It's Elliot talking to them. Hey, Elliot. You all right? They're just watching Elliot do this. <laughs> if they find out I was involved, it'll be my ass. Okay? I'll be the next one missing. Only, there won't be any questions about where I went. Yeah, they're gonna get him eventually. I don't know if it'll be soon, but they'll get him eventually. Why were you talking with them? You, you were- What are you talking about? Oh my about? god. Yeah. One second everything was normal. All of a sudden you stopped responding. I'm sorry to say, the Washington Township plant will be taken over by the federal government. Shit. Your actions remind me of your predecessor, Phil. And here comes the veiled death threat. <laughs> At least Price is ready for it. I flew for 13 hours and 35 minutes. If you have a point, it's time. Nah, just waste this time. I could see a scenario where the Chinese government in a bid to establish itself as the new global leader of the 21st century loans E-Corp the money it needs. Just more debt to China. That's an easier pitch for me to get onto the president's desk. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. The only move left in that scenario is a third world war. Ooh. You see? Ooh. I'm a mercenary. It could lead that way. We'll not protect you anymore, my friend. I will reign chaos. Even if it hurts me. All right. All right. Stand on business then. Would rather see you lose than win myself. So that's where we stand. I hate you and you hate me. Something's not right. I feel off. You feel off? What about me then? Fuck yeah, I would love to meet him. No, he's not meeting you. He's meeting Mr. Robot. Oh, we're going by our nicknames. Nothing. I meant me. Oh, he said that accidentally. Something's happening with us. We can't do this. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool shift in focus. It's like, they're, it's like they are glitching. I feel like he's going to have the intention of going into that meeting and being like, Hey, like, Mr. Robot personality, come out now so you can be the intimidated part, but Mr. Robot's gonna be like, I'm tired. You know we're bound by law to protect your anonymity, right? There could be money for a whistleblower in a situation like this. You're gonna want to get a lawyer. I'm not doing this for the money. Okay, there you go. She's making the change. 
All right, dude, you are not cooking a beat. That's... It's him talking to Cisco over there. He's feeling more and more detached. <laughs> oh my God, this gives me anxiety. All right, yo, this is our stop. Like he has no idea what the hell that conversation was just now. We're like fully getting a glimpse now into like what it looks like when he just blacks out and forgets. We're getting an inside look on it. Oh fuck, that was exactly the same length. If you've got nothing to hide, then what do you have to worry about, especially if a little surveillance? No, no, we're not gonna we're not gonna allow them to do that. That's a victory lap, people! Tyrell Relic. Yeah, they forgot a tape somewhere. Darlene's getting sloppy. Why are they leaving? They weren't expecting you. Look at me! Okay. That's Elliot, not Mr. Robot. Tell White Rose. I want to know what stage two is. Good meeting, guys. Super productive. I'm glad we did this. I never cease to be astonished by the heroics of everyday people. Did you come all the way down from New York just for this? I don't trust this lady. This is a trap. Maybe I'm misunderstanding. You but do work at E Corp. Yes? I never said that. What is your position there? The more we know about the origins of these documents... Th See? I knew I couldn't trust this lady. Lizard. I can't miss the last train back, but Angela, my colleagues in the other room are eager to talk to you. Who's it gonna be? No thanks. I gotta go. Good. Walk away. Were they gonna kill her? Nah, probably not. Relax, I'm sure we got it. We cleaned the place good. Oh, I left it. It's not here. We wiped the whole house down. Do you remember grabbing it? Gotta go back. Why are you even using VHS tapes in the first place? Because it's cool? There's a million filters on Final Cut. There's a million filters on Final Cut. <laughs> I think I set it on that weird lamp in the living room. Maybe it fell behind. Yo, Cisco Loki? Good boyfriend. Sometimes though, bad. You can stay here and crash on the couch. <laughs> Where else was he gonna go? Home would be better. That's cool. Very, very nice. He's having like an outer body experience here. Multiple times. Careful coming back here. I'll stay up and keep listening. <laughs> I have really been enjoying the editing of this episode. Hey, one of you fellow tenants let me in the building. Look what I got, your favorite. That's not good. What do you know, Dom? Didn't you, didn't you get that from, from me? Are you working for them? Working for who, Angela? I need you to leave. Damn, Dom, you're a bad guy? I thought you were going to be like a good agent who's like trying to do her best. Holly Parker told me about the CD at All Safe. It was literally the first thing out of his mouth when we entered. <laughs> this guy. It's clear you're freaking out about something. I don't know how any of this ties together, but eventually someone will connect the dots. You were tracking her this whole time, but you didn't catch her going to their house? They're going to grab you off the street and throw you in a dark cell. Okay. All right, Dom. So you are on her side. Nice. But you still have one hand to play. That's me. Okay. I trust you for now consider the fact of what she went through in china you know it's like why would she why would she want to do the wrong thing you know what i mean so i mean it's been a month has nobody wondered where that woman went when she she's been gone for a while nobody checked her place who is that sounds like elliot Oh, oh, it might, might have been Mobley. It, it might have been Mobley now that I think about it. Come on, come on, come on, man. <laughs> it began as a failure. My dead father appears and disappears at will. I talk to you, an invisible friend. I'd ask if you're normal. 
but you never talk back. I try. I be yapping sitting over here. <laughs> Elliot's been killing them. Elliot's been hunting them? Or been telling the Dark Army to hunt them? <laughs> Open the door. Who is it? Come on. Is there multiple people? She looked. Her eyes went multiple directions. How can I return to normal when the SUV belonging to the man I murdered is parked outside my apartment? Oh god, okay. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Hello, Ollie. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, I was like, why did she say Ollie? Um, she said Ollie because that was a fake name he gave her. So the interaction did happen between them? He wasn't in prison at that time? Or I'm remembering something correctly here. I think that was Mobley in, in the woman's house. For a second, I was like, that kind of sounds like Elliot. And I was like, wait, no, that kind of sounds like Mobley. I think it was Mobley in there. And I think he's dead. And I think Trent's dead. So I guess they're hunting Elliot's crew, cleaning it up, because Romero's dead. In terms of recent memory, I'd probably say this is my least favorite episode so far this season. It was decent, but considering all the other ones, uh, I'll probably say this is Probably my least favorite so far this season. Let's we'll sit here and babble on and try to make predictions for the next episode. But me personally, right now as I'm recording this, I'm going to hop into episode 10. But for you, that's it for this video. So make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I'd really, really appreciate that. And I'll see you very, very soon in the next reaction. Peace.